emerging regulatory system they have here. Um, I, I said we we're going to go back to customer service, Matt. Um, what do you, for all of our panelists, what are there lessons you guys have learned about how you work with and interact with your with your customers and cooperators that might be useful for a state like Vermont that's that's struggling to make that a positive relationship? Well, I, I don't want anybody to think that we're not struggling. I mean, you know, this is like you know, you come into Detroit. Oh man, they got it down pat here. You know, I mean, no, we don't. I, I don't want anybody to, to think what I'm saying is, is that everything is run, you know, great. Okay, because it's not. All right. But I, I will say this though. Um, you got to give people an opportunity to vent. Sometimes you got to give them that. You got to give them an opportunity to get it off their chest. Okay. <laughs> if the umpire were to throw the manager out before he now, there's a limit to this. You can't have the guy bumping the guy. You know, and there comes a point where they start talking about your personal family and all the other stuff. Well, wait a second. Now we're going to draw a line here. But you've got to give people a chance to vent. Give them an opportunity to say what they have been looking to say but have not been able to say. However, there comes a point when that has been said that we need to move on to the next day. Because, folks, it is Monday, so it's going to be a Tuesday. How do we go forward? How do we do this? It's not easy. And I will say anybody who's in a regulatory compunction, when I say to somebody, speed limit is 40, you do 41, you can get a ticket. And the classic line is you'll say, well, what about those folks? I know, but we got you. Okay? okay? So the bottom line of it is we can all do this, but the reality is, is that, you know, you have to give people some opportunity to vent, hear what they have to say, try to pull it together as best as can be, and say, well, how, how shall we vote together on this? How should we go? Now, obviously, you can't have wiggle room on certain regulations. If 2 plus 2 is 4, and they want 4.2, and they say, well, isn't there a cushion? No, there isn't. It's 4. That's the number. Okay, we have to get to that number. And here's why we have to get to that number. So it's an explanation process, but you have to give that to the people that are involved. How people are treated is more important probably than the end result, because that's what they're going to remember. And if they call a legislator on the phone, or they call somebody else on that phone, legislator is not going to side necessarily with the governmental unit right away. He's going to side with that constituent and say, guess what, so-and-so got treated this way, without hearing all the whole story. So a lot of times it takes really getting people to understand, hey, I'm not necessarily adversarial. I understand that somebody has to be a referee in this process. So in that, hopefully that gain of dialogue, we can certainly resolve whatever issues are. Most of these issues are pretty much resolvable, but if you get into the theatrics and the pointing of the finger and all this other nonsense that goes on, you waste a lot of time. But the venting process is part of it. If you're not willing to hear that, you shouldn't be in the business. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. It's as simple as that. You can't, you don't want to listen, but don't want to hear it. Don't be in it. Mm -hmm. Simple. I have many people tell me that school board meeting. You don't like what I'm saying, Mr. Ward, you can get out. Okay? Point blank. And <laughs> said to me even a little more than that, in other ways. <laughs> you know? And the Irish in me is like, oh, okay. You know, you know they say an Irishman's heart is never in peace unless he's in the middle of war. Okay? All right? So there's times when you just want to, you know, hey, I had enough of that nonsense. Okay, but bottom line is, you better realize you're not representing yourself. I represent a district or a county or an agency. And I know my staff knows that. And I insist upon that for myself. Or oh, I'll my wife will tell me for sure. Okay. <laughs> one, one or the other. Well, the levels of enforcement come at, on, a, on a continuum, I'll call it a continuum. In, in Delaware, we say, well, we can do it or we can send it to Dover or we can send it to Philadelphia. Dover means that's our state agency. Philadelphia means that's the EPA region three. When you sit down with our local supervisors and you come into the office, chances are you can get an answer or you say, well, you know what, I know him, I know her. It's all about relationships. And the further you get away from that relationship, the more difficult this process becomes. Uh, when you get to Philadelphia, there is no relationship. There's the law, there's the regulation, there's the fine, the action, the, the enforcement letter. They don't care who you are, or what you are, or who you're related to, or you're my neighbor. That, that's, that's immaterial. And the Dover, they're, they're somewhere in between that at the state level. But at the local level, the districts have that.
that opportunity to get the job done on a, on a much more friendly, cooperative level than it is regulatory, compliance or even regulatory level. So I think that's, that's the, my takeaway from the district's opportunity. This is the relationships that already exist with your friends, your neighbors, your coworkers, uh, and relatives in some cases, that it's a lot easier to, to twist that arm than it is just to set them up to go for something else. The cooperator comes to us with a 41 mile an hour ticket in a 40 mile zone. What do we do? We say to that cooperator, we'll help you any way we can. We will, to a certain extent, be your defense attorney to the regulator who has given you the 41 mile an hour ticket. We'll help you, we'll direct you, whether you accept our advice your decision whether you follow our suggestions it's your decision from our experience standpoint we know what you have to do we know when you have to do it and we kind of know why you haven't done it that's why you got the 41 mile an hour ticket however as they say in new jersey <laughs> that was a very poor <laughs> <laughs> you've got to stop talking about my family the way you're doing <laughs> here's what you need to do and we certainly will be the reference point but again reiterate let somebody else turn the screw let somebody else threaten fines let somebody else threaten court action we will help to the extent you will permit us to help, and that's the end of our environment, involvement. And that's, that's uh, our story, uh, I think, here in Maryland, and, and we're going to stick to it, Mr. Moderator. Awesome. Well, so do we want to see if we have any questions from the audience?